Hello, my name is Tom Gagliano. I am the author of the book, The Problem Was Me, with Dr. Abraham Tversky. My book is about childhood messages, the power these messages have in influencing the roles we play in our life. Our caregivers were the ones that really showed us how to view the world and how the world views us. In fact, I'd like to share a conversation I had with my son, my 10-year-old son, who really expressed this better than I could. We were watching a baseball game about a year ago, and he said, Dad, how come those kids root so hard for their favorite player? I said, well, those players are the heroes. And he heard what I said, and he hesitated, and he was thinking about it a little bit. Well, he came back to me and said, Dad, they may be my heroes someday, but you're always going to be my first hero. This was a very emotional conversation I had with him, but it also showed me the power that we have as parents and as caregivers in influencing the roles that they play in their life. Our childhood messages, verbal and nonverbal, are ingrained deep within. We can try to repress them, deny them, manipulate the truth about them, even medicate them, but eventually the bill will be paid in adulthood. These messages influence the intimacy we have or don't have, our parenting skills, our coping mechanisms, even the business decisions we make or don't make are influenced by these childhood messages. If these messages are not brought to the light, what happens is an inner critic evolves in our thinking. This inner critic will torment us until we talk about these messages to other people. Only then can we stop the power these messages have in influencing the behaviors we have in our life. I talk about this fictitious character I call the Warden, that inner critic. You see, the Warden was around as long as I could remember. Anytime I stumbled or fell, he would be right there to tell me that I didn't deserve to be happy. He gave me no margin for error. See, the Warden instilled a very peculiar definition of intimacy in my thinking. Intimacy was fearful and painful, and I was going to avoid anybody that came close to me. My book will show you ways to silence your warden. I believe everybody has a warden to some extent. One way I silenced my warden happened about 13 years ago. We had to put our dog to sleep, and my oldest son was very close to this dog. He grew up with this dog. As we returned from the hospital, after we did put the dog to sleep, my son walked into his bedroom very sad, very quiet, and I followed him there. I said to him, are you okay? And he said, yeah, dad, I'm doing all right. Well, the warden told me I did my due diligence and I did enough to leave the room and I didn't listen to him. I walked over to my son and I put my arms around him. I took his arms, I put him around me and I put his head on my chest and he started to cry. After a few minutes, his tears intensified and so did his grip. You see, I was giving my son a safe place, a place to cry in his father's arms, a place I didn't have as a kid, but one I was giving to my son that day. You see, my children know that they can make mistakes. It doesn't mean they are a mistake. They know they can fail at times. It does not mean that they are a failure. These are the messages that I carry in my book that I want other people to carry to their families as well. The Problem With Me is a book of hope, a book of change by Tom Gagliano and Dr. Abraham Torsky.